गुड मॉर्निंग माई यूनिवर्स The man who spit on Buddha's face. Here is a long story. Hence, brace yourselves. Once, the Buddha was sitting under a tree talking to his disciples when a man came and spat in his face because he was very furious about his son who was not focusing into his business rather was under the influence of Buddha and was on a path towards nirvana he wiped it off and he asked the man what next what do you want to say next the man was a little puzzled because he himself never expected that when you spit on somebody's face he will ask what next he had no such experience in his past he had insulted people they had become angry and they had reacted or if they were cowards and weaklings they had smiled trying to bribe the man but buddha was like neither he was not angry nor in any way offended nor in any way cowardly but just matter of factly he said what next there was no reaction on his part but buddha's disciple became angry at this moment and they reacted his closest disciple ananda said this is too much we cannot tolerate it he has to be punished for it otherwise everybody will start doing this buddha said you keep silent he has not offended me but you are offending me he is new a stranger he must have heard from people something about me that this man is an atheist a dangerous man who is throwing people off their track a revolutionary a corrupter and he may have formed some idea a notion of me he has not spit on me he has spit on his notion he has spit on this idea of me because he does not know me at all so how can he spit on me if you think on it deeply buddha said he has spit on his own mind i am not part of it and i can see that this poor man just have something else to say because this is a way of saying something spitting is a way of saying something there are moments when you feel that language is important then you have to do something when you are angry intensely angry you hit the person you spit on them you are saying something i can understand him he must have something more to say that's why i'm asking what next the man was even more puzzled and buddha said to his disciples i am more offended by you because you know me and you have lived for years with me and still you react puzzled confused the man returned home he could not sleep the whole night when you see a buddha it is difficult impossible to sleep anymore the way you used to sleep before again and again he was haunted by the experience he could not explain it to himself what had happened he was trembling all over sweating and soaking the sheets he had never come across such a man the buddha had shattered his whole mind and his whole pattern his whole past the next morning he went back he threw himself at buddha's feet buddha asked him again what next this too is a way of saying something that cannot be said in language when you come and touch my feet you are saying something that cannot be said ordinarily for which all words are too narrow it cannot be contained in them buddha said look ananda this man is again here he is saying something this man is man of 
deep emotions the man looked at buddha and said forgive me for what i did yesterday buddha said forgive but i am not the same man to whom you did it the ganges goes on flowing it is never the same ganges again every man is a river the man he spit upon is no longer here i look just like him but i am not the same much has happened in these 24 hours the river has flowed so much so i cannot forgive you because i have no grudge against you and you also are new i can see you are not the same man who came yesterday because that man was angry and he spit whereas you are bowing on my feet touching my feet how can you be the same man you are not the same man so let's forget about it come closer let us talk of something else this story is so powerful because when we are angry we try to hurt others or ourselves but this will only aggravate the condition as buddha said life and moments are like flowing river as time passes we change what i learned is when i do something in the past which has hurt me or someone else i can easily change the frequency of such feeling by asking for forgiveness or forgiving someone else who hurts me as always there is an option to change and become better human being Thank you for listening to me. Have an amazing night. Enjoy.